Sagittarius, welcome to my channel and thank you for being here and for tuning in. I'm Val 3 to 3 Tarot and we're just going to jump right in here and see um, what's going on here with you today. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising in the North Node. Um, and so, of course, it's not going to resonate with all of you, but for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Possessed777. And I do offer same day personal readings for um, $20. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Thank you. Okay, so it looks like you're with whoever this is, that this is right away, you know, with you and, you know, with your energy and someone here. Um, there's someone here that can't seem to let go and get over something here about you and them. And they're stressing out and freaking out and they're being kind of chaotic and they're, you know, aggressive and annoyed. They're not willing to make peace and be peaceful with you and see it from your perspective. And so you just choose to continue being productive and working really hard towards yourself, your own life, what you have going on. And so it looks like you're because you're so independent, you know, and focused and just literally busy working and doing your own thing. They don't really know how to see that or handle that. And so they become guarded, but they also know they should just kind of drop it, work, work on themselves, focus on themselves. But then they also don't know they fight that and they become, you know, they still choose to want to find a way to get aggressive and defensive here towards you. It looks like here that makes them become more unfulfilled with themselves and their life and unhappy here. Um, and either because they're obsessed and they want to tell you something, they want to give you a message of love and, or for some of you, they just really don't like you or have fun with you. They're not happy about something here, whatever it may be. Now that seems to cause them though, to get in this energy where they're not willing to reflect on themselves at all or cha make changes or, you know, help themselves reflect, reflect on anything here. You know what I mean? At all. Um, and basically, you know, guide themselves, spend time, you know, with themselves on their own here. Um, and this is someone that you you may have already closed the door on them. They're not willing to close anything out or get over anything and move on about them and you. And that also is what causes them to get even more depressed and bitter and upset and hang on to the situation and dwell. Okay, with it a bit longer here. Okay. And it looks like you're, that's what causes them to become more, unfortunately, you know, dishonest with themselves, with you, with other people. It's like they're just not willing to accept some sort of a truth here. And that's what causes them to go, you know, feel maybe a little crazy or go crazy. Once again, it's just, you know, them being extremely confused and them deceiving themselves and not knowing what to do or what is going on within the situation here trying to understand things that just don't make any sense or they're not going to be able to understand anyway in the first place. Okay. Now that seems to get them to become even more irritated and impatient with themselves, with their own life and with you as well and not really take chances and try things but that also is what makes you just kind of be like well then i'm just going to do my own thing and try something crazy and i don't care anymore and for you it works out for you with whatever it is that you are focused on that you are doing and tr trying and creating for them they're continuing because you did that whatever this is now they're choosing to do more deceptive and you know take more deceptive risks you know, out of desperation and greed, um, you know, for the, with themselves and their own life and, you know, with whatever this is. 
and that's what's made you decide to maybe have to take things into legal matters or balance your own life out or just be neutral about the situation and just kind of do your own thing. Okay, or maybe sign a different contract then with this person, either or. Maybe for some of you, yeah. So either or, whatever it may be here, or you just kind of living your life and balancing some things out here. Whatever it is, you're very happy and excited about that. So you got something that you wanted out of that. You know, there's something really happy and amazing going on here. And so because of that, that's what makes this person right after that get um, pretty untrustworthy and unfaithful, deceptive, you know, with you, towards you and or, you know, in their own marriage or relationships, you know, they're, or this is an ex, okay, for some of you here. So they just get, or a really bad ex friend, whatever it is, it's like they just get really confused and indecisive with themselves, their own life. They don't know what they're doing, what to choose, who to choose in their own, you know, with their own situation. choose to basically fo continue to focus on your own life, your own investments, creating for yourself, um, working, planning. And because you're doing that, that's what makes this person want to, you know, wow, yeah, bully you, fight with you, get aggressive, cause problems, spread hate, just like really cause like the craziest, most chaotic type of, you know, conflicting, argumentative type of, you know, uh, situations here towards you and choose to be extremely deceptive towards you here out of so much anger and hatred and frustration and whatever is going on here and or irritation or confusion that they may have whatever is going on here it's a mess okay it looks like you're aware of this and so that's why you're just emotionally disconnected from all of it and you don't really care and so you just choose to kind of just walk away and do your own thing and so because of that they do not they, they they basically choose to not let go of what is so burdensome and painful for them and that is what makes them not know what to do what moves to make they're stuck and stagnant they don't know who they are they're so confused with themselves with their own life they just go all over the place and they're split in half basically here okay the minute you just emotionally just disconnect here and that's what makes them not want to make any changes for themselves at all whatsoever um and end things right and be done and let go and you choose to still be just you know yourself and be commit you know committed to yourself or your own relationships or just be happy and content with you and doing your own thing here trusting yourself and they choose to still hang on to you in hopes of something through finances, money, or hanging on to everything that's not really, they, they understand, they're aware it's not really worth it, but they still choose to do that and hang on to this. Um, um, and at the same time, still choose to complain about things, but not really change and work on that. So you could be dealing with um, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Thank you. Bye.